Hello, I'm Michael Waters. I am a church musician. I play both piano and organ. Today, I would like to do a little demonstration on the difference between a piano and an organ. See, the common misconception is that if you can play piano, you can also play organ. Not quite true. And we're going to talk about, talk just a minute, though, about why that's not the case. So, we're going to take an old familiar hymn, we're going to take it from both piano and then take it over to the organ and we're going to, and we're going to see what the difference is and we're going to talk a little bit about technique and stuff, so hang on. So first of all, with a piano we have weighted keys and the mechanism is more with hammers and striking strings, see? And we also have a sustain pedal to also help also help with help with trying to connect the notes a little bit. So we have okay. Another another feature about the piano that that we that we will not see on the organ is that it is touch sensitive. What I mean by touch sensitive is that you can control the volume of the note by how how hard you strike the key or how lightly you strike the key. For example. See, very soft, very loud. Okay, see, and and so now I'm going to play a, play an old familiar hymn on Jordan Stormy Banks I Stand, and we'll kind of see how it's played on the piano versus the organ. probably noticed me doing is you probably noticed me kind of kind of bouncing around a little bit on, on some of the notes. That is okay because I have a sustain pedal to kind of, kind of help with help sustain the notes a little bit so that I can get to notes easier. Now it's not going to be that be that simple on, on the organ as we shall as we shall see in a minute. And again it is because we have a sustain pedal and and the piano is more of a percussion instrument more than more than anything else. Now, let's go ahead and take this same hymn over to the organ, and we shall see the difference. Here we are at the pipe organ. A little bit different than a piano is, seeing as how on this on this particular organ we've got three rows of keys. Now, now um, the rows of keys are known as manuals, and we've got a full pedal board. Very different than a piano, seeing as you've only got that got just that just that um that one row of keys to work with. Now on a piano, you had a sustain pedal. Kind of help, kind of help get from get from point A to point B in a smooth manner. We don't have that luxury on the organ. So the question is, is how do we do that? Well, you have to connect the notes with you know with your, you know just with your you know with your hands and and hands and um, and with the pedals. You um you have to uh, connect it with connect it with your heel toe you know heel and toe so so. 
that's the so that's the really big difference. That's one of the big differences. Another big difference, though, it is not this is not touch sensitive, though. Unlike a piano, by touch sensitive, again, I mean that I, I mean that mean that on when you strike the note, it makes um, hard. It'll make a loud sound. When you strike it soft, it makes a soft sound, but not on organ. And for example, I struck it really soft that time. Now let's strike it hard. No change. Not so. That's another thing that makes makes organ hard. So how would we so how would we combat that? Well, it would all have to do with pulling out you know, pulling out these things. And these things are called stops, that, which all makes different sounds, and you can get louder and softer the more the more you pull out and the less that you that you put in. Another way that you can get louder and softer is, you know, is with the, um, is with the, um, uh, with the boxes up, up, um, up there. You use that with, and you maneuver that with the expression pedal. For example, take the choir manual. It's kind of soft right now, isn't it? So, with all these with all these differences, it makes it a little bit more of a challenge playing playing on the organ. And you will actually see that when when we actually go to the hymn that we were working with on the piano. So, but before we well before we do that, let's talk about the pedal board real quick. The pedal board that is the bass pedals. Like, you know, it's bass pedals because it's the bass notes. Okay. Now, in order to move around on the pedal board effectively, I'm wearing what you know what what is called organ shoes. It's got a heel on it. it. Really helps with the technique. Don't recommend playing barefoot. So, the question is: Is why on earth would I have ever chosen on Jordan Stormy Banks I Stand to kind of kind of do this do this particular tutorial? Well. Because it speaks a lot about heaven, that's why. Our home is really going to be in heaven. When you think about it, I'd like to read a, I'd like to read a little bit of scripture, if I, if I may. Philippians 4, 20 and 21. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which, from which also we eagerly wait for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform the body of our humble state into conformity with the body of his glory by the exertion of the power that he is even given to subject the, all things to himself. Okay? So what's that got to do with on Jordan Stormy Banks? Well, on Jordan Stormy Banks is, is speaking about that. It's speaking about Scripture. What a great time heaven will, heaven will be. And, and let's not forget, let's not forget in order to be saved, Scripture tells us that, you know, that all you got to do is just declare that, you know, that Jesus is Lord and, and just... Just confess that you want to know Jesus and you will be saved. So, so let's play the hymn on Jordan Stormy Banks I Stand in celebration of what Jesus has done for us. What I'm doing right here is I'm working with, with what is called the stops. We're about to get a bombastic sound. Very bombastic.
notice there, what we've, do what we've done is we didn't exactly move around the same way we did on the piano. That is because, that is because again, we don't have a sustain pedal and have to, um, have to connect, it, connect everything, everything up here and everything down there with, without the use of a sustain pedal. Also, so thank you so much, so much for watching, and and I hope that this tutorial helps helps explain the difference between a piano and the organ. And I certainly cannot leave the gospel out if I ever do anything thing like this, because I'm a firm believer in God, and you know, and I and I want to see people, I want to see people know Jesus, so that so that they might be saved. So thank you so very